So does anyone else remember that The Lorax was a movie? Because I do. I remember it very well. Yeah, bad. Right. <laughs> So, The Lorax was released on March 2nd, 2012 by Universal Pictures, and it was animated by Illumination Entertainment, the same company that made Despicable Me and in turn Minions. I hate Minions. Anyway, so the movie was released and it got mixed reviews by the critics and it was a pretty smashing box office success, but it was also a success on the internet. Specifically, DeviantArt and Tumblr, which are like art and blogging platforms. But in specific, the internet seemed to hyperfixate on one specific character from the Lorax, which didn't really exist in the original, but also did, just not in the same way. You know who I'm talking about. How bad can I be? In the original Dr. Seuss novel, the Onceler is supposed to be a sort of cautionary tale about why you shouldn't let greed consume you and like what it can do to the earth. But in the movie, they give him a full backstory. They really flesh him out. His story is most of the movie with the kids played by Taylor Swift and Zac Efron mainly being a framing narrative. That being said, they decided that for the Onceler, they would get Ed Helms to voice him, which Whatever, fine. But they also decided that they would animate him to be this tall, lanky, guitar-playing, gorgeous man, I guess? And so the internet did what the internet does and uh, fell in love with him. When the internet falls in love with something, they want to see it be happy sometimes. Not really. I don't know how else to explain shipping to you. So shipping is when you take two characters and you go, hmm, I want them to be in a relationship. Hence the name shipping. And this is something that people do. It's just all over the internet. It's all over blogging platforms, uh, fiction platforms, etc., etc. But the interesting thing about the movie The Lorax is that there aren't very many shippable characters. So. When you have this character that the internet loves and no one to ship him with, what do you do? Because you can't ship the ones who are with the children because they're children, and you can't ship the ones who are with the Lorax because he's a fuzzy orange bean voiced by Danny DeVito. So who do you ship the ones who are with? You ship him with himself. That's what you do. And thus began the ones who are fandom. How does one ship a character with himself. What happened was long ago, in the year of 2012, there was a girl. In modern day time, she goes by the name Panocchio, or at least that's her Tumblr URL. And when she was younger in 2012, she was a part of something called a tiny chat, which was like a chat room that you could download for your computer with a bunch of other people who also really liked the one slur. They really wanted to ship him, but who to ship him with? They decided, hey, let's ship him with himself because he's so self-absorbed in the film. And so they called it one cest. I know what you're thinking, cest as in incest. It's not technically incest because they are two separate versions of himself, but they're not like technically blood related because they're the same person. I'll get to that, don't worry. Anyway, so they decided to call it one cest. They decided that they would have a character named Oncey, who was representative of the Onceler from the beginning of the film, who was more like innocent and naive and like shy. And then they would have Greedler, get it? Cause Greed and Onceler, <coughs> Greedler, who would be more aggressive and like greedy and corrupt, but not like unattractive, I guess. I don't know. So, and then they just took him and were like, here you go. And then the internet loved it.
People started making fan art, they started making fan fiction, they started making blogs specifically for this thing, and what was once the, like, Onceler fandom, I guess, then became the Oncest fandom. A fandom created upon an adaptation of an adaptation, which is mind-blowing to me. And it's still there on the internet. The fandom's still going in certain circles. It's not nearly as big as it used to be, but it's still there.